Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can easily edit your raw images on Canvas Photoshop. And if at all you want to download the photo to follow along, simply check the links in the description of this video so that you can get the link to download the raw image to follow along with this tutorial. So we are simply going to come right here to the image, right click and come to open with and come to uh, the Photoshop version that you want to use. And it's going to automatically open up the photo in the camera raw filter. So in the camera raw filter, we want to correct the lighting and contrast issues first regarding this very image. So what I'll do, I'll simply come to my light panel and make sure that you have upgraded your camera or your Photoshop for these features that we're going to be using in this very tutorial. So I'm just going to take the highlights down and I'll do the same for the whites. Take my black slightly down. The reason for doing this is to try to recover the blows in the sky area. And I'll open up the shadows of this very image around 37. And I'll just come and add contrast to the image to around. I prefer 16 is okay. So after doing that, I'll just come to my temperature option or panel. So in temperature, I'll simply warm up the image slightly to around 5,900 Kelvins. And that is going to make the skin tones look better than where we started. So this is the image before and after so far. So after doing that, we're simply going to come to the masking options when it comes to uh, camera raw. So just come and get the masking options. And you can start to have different options. That is subject, sky, and background. So for this case, I'm just going to come and select the sky. So I'm just going to come, click on this, and it's going to automatically de detect and select the sky for us. So after the sky has been selected, we just want to make the sky have information or vibrant colors. So what we will do in this case, we are simply going to come to where you see color. And by that, to hide the mask, simply turn off the overlay option. And that is going to hide the mask. So just come and take down the temperature. And that is going to call the sky to your liking. So I'm just going to take it down. And to make the sky look better, we are going to first of all come back to the basic adjustments right there. And scroll all the way down to our calibration panel. So just come to the blue primary and start taking up the slider. And that is going to make the blues pop a little bit more, even the overall image. So after doing that, we're just going to come back to our color mixer. And you can see that we have hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is changing in color. Saturation is the intensity of a color, and luminance is the brightness level of a color. So for this, I'm just going to first of all come to the luminance of the blues and slightly take that down to around neg negative 13 to darken the sky even more. So I'm just going to also intensify on the blues by taking up the saturation and that is going to make the blues better or pop even more in this image. But don't overdo this because you can see it causes some fringing in some areas in the background which you don't want to happen. So just going to do less of that. And we are going to come the hues and simply play around with the hues of the blues to our liking. So a tiny bit of hues of the blues is going to be working perfectly for this case. So you can see we started here and this is where we are right now. So we are going to also make the blues a little bit pop to around the aqua side. And also take or make the yellows in the image a little bit towards the green. So this is going to be a personal choice or preference. So you can say before, after, before, after. So you're simply going to come and click on open in order to open the image in Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we're going to do the skin retouching and the next kind of adjustment. So just come and, and first of all, crop the image by getting the crop tool and choose a ratio of 4 to 5 or 8 by 10 and crop in the image. So just click and crop in the image just like that. And after cropping in the image, I'll simply hit enter or return in order to crop the image. So I want first of all eliminate the stand from the image. So I'll just come and get the spot healing brush tool and make sure the mode is set to normal. Content hour is selected and slightly increase on the size and simply click over the stand just like that. And that is going to slightly remove it. If at all you don't have generative fill, you can try and opt out for or opt for this kind of technique to remove distractions. So after removing the distraction, we want to go straight to doing the skin retouching first of all. In order to do skin retouching, 
I'll simply duplicate the background layer twice by pressing Ctrl J and name this to color. So name that to color. And I'm simply going to name this to texture, just like that. And after doing that, simply come and select the color layer, turn off the texture layer, then come to filter, blur, come to Gaussian blur. So in come to Gaussian blur, take the radius order down and click on an area on the skin that has more skin details. This case, it is the face. So I'll start taking up the radius slider and stop at the point whereby the details in the skin are just starting to disappear. So at around 3, that is when the details are just starting to disappear. So depending on the amount of details in your image, you have to stop at the point whereby the textures or the details in the skin are just starting to disappear. Simply click OK. Select the texture or high frequency layer now activate it. Simply come to image, come to apply image. Then under layer select the color layer. The blending has to be add because we are editing a 16-bit image. As you can see, this is 16. The scale is to offset 0, opacity 100%, preserve transparency and mask are not checked, and turn on the invert option. And as soon as you do this, you can see the textures are going to be appearing on this gray layer. Click OK. Change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Select both layers, then press Ctrl G or you can use Command G on the keyboard. Or you can simply uh, drag and drop them into this folder icon to put this in a group so i hope you are learning and following along with this very tutorial so after doing this we are simply going to come and open up the group of uh, the frequency separation select the color layer and turn off the texture layer so we're going to come to the brushes and get the Mr. Brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Soft round brush is selected. Make sure clean brush is also selected. Then make sure the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected. With a weight of 9%, load 75. Mix at 90, flat 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on. So after doing this, simply come and start blending the transitions between the skin. So you can increase or reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So simply paint on the skin to blend or even out the transitions between the skin tones. And in that way, the skin is going to be smoothened. So you can see how smooth the skin is getting to be. So keep on blending the transitions between the skin tone. Blend the mid-tones alone, the highest alone, and the shadows alone in the photo that you're trying to edit or work on so you can see and the other trick is always retouch at a distance don't zoom all the way in and you can see i'm working at a distance and this helps me to retouch quickly and faster so you can see i'm mixing the shadows alone mixing the highlights alone in this case and i'll also come and mix the mid-tones alone and where the colors are on the transitioning from one color to another I'll just use a very small brush and blend that transition to create some even transition between those colors. So I'll do this quick because I don't want the trailer to be a long one. But if I told you are finding the video helpful, simply hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So I'm just going to paint quickly on her legs just like that. Reduce on the size and also paint on this other side. So I'm using the bracket keys to reduce on the size of my brush, just like that. So make sure you blend each and every single area that contains or has skin so that you can create a small skin for your model or for your subject. So reduce on the size and continue working, for example, on the first area using a very small brush. And if I told you finding the video a little bit quick or fast, I have a free course that I uploaded previously that you can use to follow along uh, with your editing process or workflow. So right now we have blended majority of the areas that have skin. So just come and turn on the texture or high frequency layer and zoom out to see what you have been able to do. Just the before, after. So I'm just going to leave this on before, after, before, after, before, after. You can see your skin looks nice and smooth. 
So next we just want to work on the skin tones. So in order to work on the skin tones, so make sure that you have removed the pimples or blemishes from the skin before you go straight into the skin tone process or the color grading. So just come and first of all create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option co command E. Then for Windows is shift alternate control E on the keyboard and come and create an empty layer. Change its play mode from normal to color. Select the, the stamp visible layer that we created initially before. Come to select. Come and select the subject. And as soon as the su subject has been selected, you can see Photoshop does a pretty nice job trying to select around the subject. But some areas may not be selected quite well. So you can even come and remove this from the selection by getting the quick selection tool and selecting the minus option and you can deselect or remove that area from the selection so after doing that we are simply going to come and now select the empty layer that we created come and get the brush tool so right click under the brushes and get the brush tool and simply make sure the hand is set to zero soft round brush is select selected the mode is normal opacity and flow at a hundred percent so what we want to do in this case we just want to sample color from the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like so i'll simply zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard so for this i'll just sample a color from the first area so hold down the option key on the keyboard we can hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and left click to sample color so what is left zoom out and simply start painting on the skin so i'll just be doing this quickly and nicely and by just doing this you can see how nice the skin is going to be looking and how uniform the skin tones are going to be at at the end of the process so i'm just going to be doing this quickly faster and i hope you are learning and benefiting from this kind of video and you lose nothing subscribing or uh, leaving a like on this very video so i'm just going to paint just like that and you can see right now the skin looks better nice and uniform so you can zoom in and make sure that you have painted on each single area that has or contains skin color or skin tones in the photo that you're trying to edit so i'm just going to do this quickly but always take your time as you're trying to do the painting process on your image or on your photo. So I'm just going to paint quickly over the face. And by just doing this, you can see how nice the skin is going to be looking and how uniform it is going to be looking. So right now, we are almost done working on the skin. So if at all you accidentally painted on a given area, just come and get the eraser tool. And you can simply paint over the areas that you do not want to be affected in the first place. Press Ctrl D or you can use Command D to deselect. So I'm just going to zoom in and make sure or ensure that each and every area that has skin has been painted. So after doing that, when the effect is too much for your liking, always come back to the opacity of the layer and reduce it so that it can look better and it can look a little bit more realistic to your liking so I'll just leave this to around 70 67 is okay before after before after so right now this is where we are right now so next we just want to make the image even better than where we started so in order to make this image better we are simply going to add some glow or shine to the skin so just come the adjustment layer come to curves and when you come to curves simply drag this towards the right hand side left click and hold down and you drag it towards the right hand side until when you feel like the highlights on the skin are shiny enough to your liking you can see on the shoulder area then double click on the layer mask then come to where you see blend if make sure gray is selected underlying layer is also the target for this case so you can left click and drag this so that you can drag the effect from affecting the overall image and only the highlights or the bright areas on the skin are affected so to make this better hold on the option key on the keyboard and left click on this right hand pointer 
to split it so that it can blend well into the skin. Click OK, select the white layer mask and press Ctrl I on the keyboard. Or you can use Command I on the keyboard. Come and get the brush tool once again. With the hardness set to 0, soft round brush is selected. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So if at all you have any other color apart from black and white, you can simply reset by pressing D on the keyboard or you left click on the tiny swatches. So after doing that, you can now zoom into the image. Rather, command minus. Zoom in slightly. And start painting. So only paint on what you feel should have highlights in the image. And this is going to make the image better by a whole new level and it's going to create that kind of glamorous look over the highlights and it's going to make the image even pop so you can see before after before after so reduce on the opacity at all it is too much for your liking so you can now come and do a little bit of eye whitening so just come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and measure master selected then Come to saturation and take down the saturation slider to around negative 77. Press Ctrl I, you can use Command I on the keyboard. So with white as the foreground color, you can now zoom in. Remember, if at all you have any other random color apart from black and white, you can simply press D on the keyboard to reset. And to switch between black and white, you can use the arrow key or you can press X on the keyboard so white is the top color so right now we have white in the eyes of our model or for our subject so next just come and create one final adjustment layout is the selective color so you're simply going to come and target the blacks and come to where you see cyan's and just take up the cyan slider and that is going to add a cinematic vibe to the shadows of the image around five is okay so let's see where we started and where we are right now. So this is the image initially before, after, before, after. You can see the magic that we have worked in Photoshop. By the way, if at all you find the skin tone oversaturated or too orange, come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Target the reds and simply come to the lightness and you can take down the lightness. You, you can see that is going to reduce on the oversaturated oranges so in the skin tone so negative seven is okay for this case so this is how you can edit an image so you can even do selective color for even the sky by targeting the blues or the cyan's and playing around with these sliders to see what works best for you and you can even come to the blacks and darken to see the color that is more effective to your liking so I'll just leave this to around 72 to make the sky pop a little bit more so this is what we have been able to achieve by just simply making some adjustments to the image you can see before after before after retouching and color grading has easily been explained in this very video so this is it for this video and if I told you I've loved this don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel. So save the image, file, export, export as. Then come to format and make sure it is set to JPEG. Quiet it to the maximum, which is 7 for this case. By cubic sharper, also activated or selected. Then make sure convert sRGB and embed color profile have been checked in this case. Click on export. And this is it for this video. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.